Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have another video. I'm just like crazy lady uploading because I'm so far behind in my videos. Um, new phone and been waiting like a week for this new phone. So I'm so backlogged with the end of the month and such. Okay, so this video is going to be my monthly empties of anything but wax or bath and body works. So I've got household care, I've got lush, I've got skincare, hair care, body care, everything care, I don't know, that's pretty much what I have. So, and I've got my little empties bin here, I'm just gonna throw everything in, I'm gonna be recycling everything at the end of this. So I used up a Greenworks cleaning wipe. Um, I keep this actually under my cupboard uh, into the sink in my bathroom. I only have one bathroom. So it does get, you know, used a lot every day, a couple times a day. So I like to clean the sink down, just come a little OCD. A little bit. Anyway, I also went through a Downy Unstoppables in wash scent booster in the scent Shimmer. And I do like the pink scent actually. It's closed, but you can still smell it. Um, it's quite a nice scent. So I would recommend this one. I like this for the everyday clothes and Glow, which is like this pearly colored lid. I can't, I'm starting to not be able to find my favorite glow one at Walmart lately, which is kind of sad, but oh well, what can you do? Went through <laughs> a lighter. <laughs> Gee, I wonder from what? I went through a shower poop. My uh, rule of thumb is I go through a couple uh, body washes and once that's up, this is time to go. Um, I don't keep them for very long because they do obviously have germs and stuff, so. Anyway, went through one of those. I went through a pit stick. I went through a secret Hawaii citrus breeze invisible. Um, I really like this. It was good. I don't go through like some people go through deodorant like it was no tomorrow. I put it just I just put a little bit on and I'm gone. Um, I I'm sweaty. I'm just that's how I am. And so if I sweat, I sweat. And I try to wear clothes that don't show that I sweat or you know that kind of thing. So you know I don't sit there and layer it on. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is it takes me a while to go through that. So moving on, I went through one of my favorite toothpastes. It's Crest 3D White Luxe in Glamorous White. Really like this toothpaste. I went through a hair care product. I went through a Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protector for up to 230 degrees Celsius. It says it's a vitamin rich, enriched heat tamer spray. Well, if I'm going to straighten my hair, I'll put this all over my hair before I do that straightening process. Like it, and I have repurchased it. You might see this. You might see this down the road in a couple <laughs> prizes. Um, <clears throat> but you guys know I love the body shop, and you all know that I love the Early Harvest Raspberry Body Butter or Early Harvest Raspberry products in general. I've had the Eau de Toilette. I've had the body butter, the shower gel, the scrub. The scrub smells like jelly, like straight on raspberry jelly. This is a favorite. It only comes out at winter time. When it does, I stock up. So you may see something like this down the road. Anyway, okay, moving on. Okay, body care. So I have two shower gels, a Lord of Mist Rule Shower Cream and a snow fairy. These only come out, they're both limited edition. They only, this one came out for around Halloween, but it stayed around for Christmas. This is truly just a Christmas scent. This is super, super sweet, like candy floss. This is one of, uh, Lord of Misrule is my very favorite bath bomb from uh, Lush. It's uh, described as herbal, for, oh, what is it? Oh, mischievous herbal blend of spicy black pe pepper and patchouli oils, really nice. I like it. Um, another few Lush products, which I will be taking back to Lush. It's all cleaned out and ready to go to get, you'd take back five of these pots or even the clear pots that come with those shower jellies. Um, you wash those out and you take five back anyway, you get a free face mask. And I went through a big sea salt shampoo, which is a staple, but I'm gonna be trying something new. Um, down the road, I want to instead get big, uh, bouncy, which is me nicer, a little more moisturizing. Still a salt-based shampoo. I really like this. I would repurchase it, have repurchased it many times, but I'm willing to give it a shot, a different kind. Willing to give a different kind of shot. And I went through two Karma Cream hand and body lotions. This is a, one of their um, quintessential scents in Lush. It's kind of a, like a 
how do they describe it? An orange flower and patchouli oil body lotion packs good karma into one creamy pot. Creamy spelled with K. It's really yummy. It's kind of a little bit hippie, but it's really good. I love it. Okay. Bubbles to the side. I went through Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water all in one. This was for the this for the waterproof all skin types I want to say it was a waterproof one but I can't tell Let's see if it's on the oh yeah it's on the back it says waterproof so I liked it it was okay I don't know if I'll repurchase it maybe if it was on sale if I found out Walmart or something yeah I might repurchase it something I would I have re this is a repurchase I have since started using Urban Decay D Slick but this is L'Oreal Paris's infallible 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 pro spray and set makeup extender setting spray it was okay for the drugstore it was actually pretty good l'oreal products are a little bit higher in price i can't get my hands on some of those other ones that are really inexpensive so anyway i had this i liked it i this is like the second one i think i'd ever uh, picked up so obviously it was a repurchase i went through a couple masks um whenever i go to sephora i always pick up a couple masks and um just because I like that. I like the pampering-ness about having a bath with your Lush products and then putting in the mask on your face. So anyway, I picked up uh, the Nourishing and Repairing Mask, avocado, avocado Face Mask from Sephora. Used that, really liked it. Um, purifying and Detoxifying. This is the Algae Face Mask from Sephora. Liked it. I would repurchase any of those. I like to try all of them. My favorite's the Pearl, that's my favorite. I went through a makeup wipe pack, uh, Neutrogena all-in-one makeup removing cleansing wipes. Really like these. I always find that the first, like, there's 25 in here, like the first 10 are a little on the drier side, and then as soon as you hit the center down to the bottom, it's like, bam, there's always tons of stuff on it. So, you know, but I love it. And it does do, I do a process where I will use a cloth first, then I'll go in and cleanse my face to get it like a double cleanse, I guess, if you will. I use up another package of my Elmay Makeup Eraser Sticks. You guys know that I love these. Um, anytime I see them on sale, I talk up. I use them every single day because I'm messy when it comes to my eye makeup. I have an It's Potent from Benefit Eye Cream. I actually really like this. I'm still trying to find the best eye cream for me. I, I do have a lot of fine lines under my eyes. I'm 38 years old. I mean, it's going to happen. But I do, I always have, this is where I've always showed when I was tired, when I was, even when I was a child. Um, it is very nice. And I found this to be very moisturizing. So if, I guess it, it, if you want to brighten a little bit, this would be it. But if you're looking to remove lines, I wouldn't say that this would be the best thing to remove lines. There we go. So it's potent by benefit. Down to the nitty gritty, guys. So I received this in like a Sephora favorites pack. And this is the Ole Henriks, Henriksen's Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I've had this before. I really like it. I used it in the morning. It smells amazingly like oranges. I love it. I would repurchase, but I always seem to get these little ones. So I don't need to. I went through a, a matte blotting powder, matte blotting papers. Uh, NYX. I don't even know if NYX makes these anymore because I can't find them in my local store, which is where I ended up getting them on sale, which leads me to believe that maybe they don't make them anymore. But I am um, using a combination of a lot of um, like makeup products that have actually really helped not completely like dry me out, but they've done a really good job where I only have to use one of these a day instead of like two or three. So there's that and I went through the last two things our lip products I picked up a pack of two of the physicians formula argon wear lip oil and there was this one and there was like a pinky this was a pinky color one and then there was like a goldish color one like the jelly inside I mean they don't give any color to your lips but it was very nice I had this by my bedside table and so it was really nice to put this little lip oil on my lips before bed it was very nice and very expensive these two they comes with two and it was like $17 expensive but I have so many things on backup and I went through a Nivea essential lip balm I like this I always put it out by my TV area slap on some lip balm that kind of thing that is it you guys okay I've done so many videos today I'm actually sitting amongst a whole bunch of recyclables <laughs> 
So, um, yeah. Okay, you guys. Thanks again, as always. Thank you so much for watching your patience and everything. Be safe and have fun.